there's something called collinear technology um, that, um, that has been talked about in the context of um, what you guys are doing. And so um, I actually hadn't heard of that before, but it seems to kind of blend the semantic search um, that, that we love as data scientists, that is NLU, natural language understanding. Uh, so using things like transformer architectures um, to create embeddings that we can search over. Um, so that's like the semantic search um, that we've been talking about so far uh, since we've been talking about deep judge, but this collinear technology seems to allow you to have semantic and keyword search together. Can you fill us in on that a bit more? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a term, it's a term we came up with, um, to, to have sort of a name for what we're doing. I guess sometimes it's called hybrid search or something like this, but what we mean by that is just that our index structures align the more frequency type information with the more neural type information because you want you want both right you you don't want just the keyword type search or the frequency based search and you also don't just want the semantic search because sometimes you just care about words and not just feelings um and sure you can say well we'll just get embeddings that are so good that they capture like every nuance of everything it's still a bit out of scope i believe so for some applications pure vector-based search is really good actually for many um especially if you anything around product search or anything around you know like amazon product reviews and so on all of these things semantic search works wonderful for our applications, though, there are a few weaknesses, and that's why we have to sort of blend the two things together. And that's where it gets into our more proprietary tech in how exactly we mix the two and we enable retrieval with with the combined, with a combination, not just mm -hmm. sort of um, one or the other. Because what most semantic search do is they either retrieve vector-based, or they retrieve actually keyword based and then kind of re rank with a re ranker, and things like this. Um, so, collinear technology is a name we gave to the thing that we do because we didn't know what else to call it. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense to me for your use case in particular, where there would be situations like a specific client name or company name or event where a semantic search might be a little bit fuzzy on those things and find you know somebody who is related to that specific person in some way you know that you know this second person often shows up in the same documents as the first person and so the kind of semantic search says well the second person is pretty much the same as the first <laughs> um but for a legal document you're like well no we actually like the first person is the person we need the second person doesn't matter yeah and especially if you if you don't train on the data that you search over, right? Which is very often the case because you 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 train on a subset or you train on a different set and so on. You can't you can't possibly have seen all the data in training. So even now if a name comes in, you don't even know that name appears with the other name. You just know it's a name. And if you do semantic search, you'll just get like a semantically similar thing, which is another name, which isn't very helpful. So that some, yeah, some of these things are just weaknesses of doing embedding based search, let's say.